Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah Thank you for everything, please forgive my ignorance. See, what is the correlation between asking to reach Bahrul Qudra and Bahrul Muhit in Tafakkur? Bahr what? Bahrul Qudra and Bahrul Muhit in Tafakkur. Reach to the Shaykh, Shaykh, I don't know who asked these questions. <laughs> That the, the main shaykh is to connect with the shaykh. The how to say some of the directions they're giving are descriptions of realities that they've traversed. But for somebody to specifically think they can put the coordinates and reach, this not the way it's done. That I'll ask for this and I'll achieve that. Because the necessity is that to enter a state of muraqabah in which I'm nothing. I'm nothing and I'm nothing that dress me from the presence of the shaykh. We've said many times you have to get the meditation book, Arsalan's in the back, he's one of the, the guys who took all the notes for it. So it means, did you enter in your binary state? If you're not in a binary state, none of these realities open for you. So what does binary show us in, in our electronics and computers and, and science of technologies? Unless the binary state is activated, the transmission of the energy won't be achieved because binary on and off is actually an energy and then the, the void of energy. So it means a conveyance of a charge has to come. So it means one has to, they're like this, one has to drop, the charge has to hit, right? Hashad? Binary code, there has to be a conveyance of an energy. Means then the one has to go into a zero state, nukht, and the one then hits it and then the nukht becomes up and comes up. So it's basically on and off charge coming. Before that can fully take place. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The student had to have reached Nukht. Nukht doesn't really have opinions, directions, compasses, all these things. You're hearing the knowledges of the one whom went into that reality but don't mean you get there by knowing all these expressions because yet the door of that reality was to be a nukht. That you sat at the door and said, I'm nothing, I'm nothing and then my character to be tame. We described last night or the two nights ago that your entrance into this circle of meditation is your sincerity and good deeds. So many people come to tariqah, many people will actually try to meditate, many people won't achieve it. And the ticket was that they had to be sincere, clean, do their faith and action, do what Allah has asked of them. Allah allows then an openness within their being and their souls and their reality 
to sit in that diwan, in the association that the shaykh is asking them to come to. That's what we described the week before. So everyone thinks they just got in just because they heard the YouTubes are coming in. It's a, it's a clickbait, come on, come on. And if you really want to sit in this circle of reality, not that easy because you're going to keep clicking your heels and feel nothing until you listen to what the shaykh said, go out and serve, have good character, talk nice, be polite. Some people are not polite at all and they say, Shaykh, I don't feel anything. No doubt you don't feel anything, you will never feel anything but you keep trying. Do you really think Allah let your soul to enter into their diwan with that? So it was the good deeds, the good character, the givingness, the, the being of service, all of that, that allowed what? To come into the diwan. And as soon as they enter into the diwan, then they have to learn a system in which they keep their focus on the shaykh. They live a life to serve the shaykh so that the shaykh will convey a fire from his heart into the heart of that servant. Your hamburgers don't light your heart. Say, so I'll give a lot of hamburgers. Like the hamburgers got you into the circle, they don't light your heart. The flame lights your heart and Allah put the flame in the heart of creation and not creatures because وَلَكَدْ كَرَامْنَا بَانِي آدَم The ulul am they are the guardians of this fire. You have to sit around their fire, that's why loyalty, that's why a focus, who's my shaykh? If you're sitting at different campfires you didn't get into any of them. Because we know the system, the shaykh has to convey from his heart a fire, that's what Nabi Musa this was the whole sort of analogy they're trying to give. The ta'seen is a flame in the heart of the shaykh. Its admission is good character, sincerity. Then Allah lets their body and soul to sit in that diwan and to feel that meditation because they got their ticket of sincerity. When they understood that, they understood then the presence of the shaykh is their, their whole understanding and that they're asking for transmission now, that I'm asking from your heart to fill my heart. Well then that requires your focus to be on the shaykh your good deeds towards the shaykh, your life in a khidmat towards that shaykh because you're asking for a flame from his heart to come to you. He's not throwing it out cheap, just anybody who asks and say, here we go, now you got all of our, our life's uh, work like that. Even Nabi Musa salam, when he wanted the daughter of Shu'ayb, he said, seven years of khidmat before I let you to marry that child. So means even Qur'an is showing the years of service. And when Sayyidina Sulaiman a Farsi salam, came to Prophet and described his life which was many years of service to the people whom he served, means that was the, the symbol of takhleed and to follow. And this was the way of the tariqahs, that we found a tariqah with immense powers. Then we'll find a shaykh in which there's a fire emitting from that heart. I have to do good deeds so that I can get into that spiritual circle. As a result of that spiritual circle, if I focus my life upon the shaykh and the shaykh's focuses upon me and my khidmat, then there's going to be flames being thrown into that. Every time they do good things and good actions, they're making their muraqabah, a flame will go and then they see what the reaction of the student. Are they able to keep the fire or do they do bad things and lose the fire? And they keep the fire and they keep the fire and that becomes an immense yearning and love within their heart begins to burn. 
an eternal fire that burns so strong that nothing from physicality can make sense anymore. The love they have for the shaykh, the love they have for Prophet is their existence. They carry a fire from their presence and from their heart and that their heart is lit from that reality. This is not something easily understood but they're getting there now. So these UFO guys, one of the more knowledgeable ones started to talk and said that, we have now technologies for the communication at the speed of sound which are our mobile phones. These beings they're not moving in the speed of sound because we don't understand and this is him describing. We don't understand that they come from a million light years away, the amount of time they would have to travel is just not something we would understand. They must be using different type of physics. So they must be moving through vibrational fields, what we call haqiqat al tai in which Prophet brought for us, they can make points to be like a flat and they can curl the surface from point A to Z and bring A to Z together and move through it. They don't traverse from A, B, C, D, D and go the whole line. Allah said, we can make your time to be like a scroll in which we bring two points together for you. Many of the jinn kingdoms know this reality because they move through vibration and through energy. What then is the communication system for that technology? Your phone wouldn't work because it's moving at speed of sound, even speed of light won't work because now they're penetrating different vibrations. So he came out and said, oh it's what the old time mystics and Gnostics were teaching. And what was that? The speed of thought, what they call consciousness. Their technologies, televisions, microphones, radio, all of these things are meant for people not to use consciousness, not to use your God-given power. But the way of the heavens and the way of what we call tafakkur is the way of the mystics and Gnostics. How to activate your consciousness and your reality. So that your communication is at the speed of thought because now look at their technology when they're teaching to you, no matter where you are, you'll connect your heart and open up your consciousness and if access is granted based on the conditions we described earlier, that the shaykh will begin to move into your presence and enter into your consciousness which your level of communication will begin to be opened is the speed of thought. So they can reach from here to wherever Prophet is, wherever awliya are through dimensions and times and universes at the speed of thought. The minute they think of it, they put their heart and consciousness in it, they are communicating. So means their mobile phone systems are extremely advanced and there is no more advanced technology than Allah's technology. Your mobile phone by sound, some of the more powerful devices now by light but none of them have the speed of thought. So this is an ancient system. The shaitan made people to lose. So then now they come out and say, whoa there's these, these are aliens, they're the what we call jinns and their whole system is to stop the growth of people's consciousness. 
and that's what we call shaitan. That's all shaitan's interest is, is that people don't evolve back to their power of consciousness in which their heart and soul can communicate with the heavens, can confirm from the heavens, receive power from the heavens and begin to fight from the heavens. Because when you think you're less than a mobile phone, you pretty much can't do anything, nothing. You're beholden to anything and anyone that comes. But all of this now, these people are trying to explain it. And they said, there are people out there that train their consciousness and they communicate at the speed of thought. This is the Muraqaba book. This is what we call the timeless reality that when you read the meditation book, read the energy book, it's about opening up your consciousness, opening up your ability to communicate with your higher soul. The shaykh is the cable connection company that connects you to your reality that you don't have permission because you have not yet reached a maturity. As a result of connecting, he connects you with that reality, puts a fire within your heart that gives the heart its energy and its ability like a fuel source. They become lit like their suns on the earth, like stars on this dark night. The earth becomes the zulm and their hearts become najm, stars because they have a fire from Allah's fire and through their heart the one whom speaks is what Allah described to Sayyidina Musa Allah means the one whom has the fire within their heart from the lights of Prophet is the same fire that's speaking from the heart of Prophet Divinely Presence. So means these are immense realities, immense realities for people whom begin to conflict, who begin to contemplate. And even now they're going to start seeing it in these tech movies, sci-fi and alien conversations because it's opening. Their understanding is opening, their sciences are going to now acknowledge that there are these other creatures, how do they communicate? It's not by our mobile phones, look at the speed they're moving at. How do they communicate with each other in different dimensions? It's the tafakkur, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaikum As Salaam wa uh, In Safar we entered the cave mm -hmm. and now in Rabiul Awal we approach the Divinely Fire of Taseen. Does this mean that the flame of Taseen is the source of protection for the cave and that if we take a piece of the flame with us and it enters our heart, we will be protected wherever we go as the sleepers of the cave were protected? Is this Divinely Fire of Taseen the sun which directed the movement of the sleepers? Yeah, I don't know, a lot of philosophy there guys, yeah, <laughs> you're drawing a lot of stuff from that, that's okay I and mean, it's entertaining for you, so that's okay but yeah, connect. This is a fire of Divine, we described it, it's from the heart of Prophet it's a fire in which is speaking through the heart of Prophet So we described everything of what ta scene was, we go back to those talks of what the ta and the scene was, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Is it possible for people to convert to Islam after they die? Uh, definitely. Nothing is impossible for Allah The shaykhs, certain shaykhs have permission to do dawah at the graves <coughs> which they reach with malik and mouth those whom passed away and offer them, we have talks on that, offer them to live a life of service. And in the last days death is a gateway into Divinely service. People whom can serve with their body will serve, 
many whom are not capable, they haven't done anything to, to reach that reality, what happens? Death by calamity comes means they become shaheed. So now these people were hit with they say maybe some unknown type of technology. 20,000 in one place, 10,000 in another place. Don't deem anything in Allah's way lost. That as they think they're going to hit the Muslim lands, Allah will recruit them to the armies of Sayyidina Mahdi And they become shaheed with immense power, immense power. And I believe even their Bible describes that the martyrs will ask for a day to come back to earth to fight. Those whom were martyred and they say that they want their right, they want their right, their Bible even describes that they'll ask and they have songs or when the saints come marching in and all those whom were martyred and unjustly killed will come to fight for God. Because the soul is, Hayyu ya Qayyum, you can take the body but you cannot do anything to the soul. And now there's no more accounting when someone dies in a calamity in the clause of death there's no more accounting. So they're Hayyu Qayyum ready to serve. And the shaykhs that will reach to their areas actually waiting during that calamity, 20,000 recruited to be in service to Sayyidina Mahdi Those regions will become immensely spiritually powerful. That the dunya was taken but the souls are in service. So it means as they plan, Allah's plan is much more superior. So alhamdulillah, shaitan has a dilemma now, is he making or break? No, every time he does something he seems to be making the nation stronger. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa What should we do if we feel that our consciousness and speed of thought is out of control or too fast? Not sure why I can feel so much information and hear instructions. Yeah, I don't know if this is one of those we need medicine or is that truly spiritual? <laughs> yeah, because these topics bring out a lot of people out of the woodwork. So be careful with the questions and, and who's asking them and because everybody wants to say, I'm hearing voices, I'm hearing this. Yeah, this is about training, it doesn't come very easy. So to train, connect your heart and the, the heart and the consciousness is, is something that has to be opened. Now the mind that's slightly off Shaitan can sit there and talk to your ears, so that's not the same thing as waswas. Consciousness is that they connect into the heart, they connect with the shaykh and the knowledge is of the heavens. And the connection with the shaykh is important because if you're just connecting with the jinn and the jinn is just feeding you, you know, all over the place information, that's again something wrong. And if you're being waswas through your ear, you could think you're having a lot of information, they're all they know they're talking to my ear, it doesn't come like that. Consciousness is you have to actively open it, meditate and the information comes within the heart, memorized into the heart, burned into the heart, alam al-Qur'an khalaq al-insan, alam. So they reach back into that reality and with the day in which Allah taught them these realities and these realities begin to overflow. But the waswas of numbers and television stations and, and uh, clock numbers coming, no, no these are something shit I'm playing with people. It's not an easy station to open. <clears throat> As salaamu alaykum shaykh Walaykum as salaam Shaykh, how do we know if a difficulty or hardship is a punishment or a test? Thank you very much. I think we've had that question many times, yeah. Everything is an opportunity from Allah So we all know if we're good and bad and uh, it's an opportunity to grow. 
So if it's a punishment then have patience and be patient through the difficulty, try to grow from its understanding, be conscious of everything that why that happened Ya Rabbi and what can I do to protect myself against it. And everyone knows in themselves when they do meditation if they've done something to deserve a punishment. And if they haven't done something to deserve a punishment then it's a growing opportunity where Allah wants to test the sabr and patience and something will be learned out of it. So inshaAllah everything from Allah is always uh, an opportunity to grow, inshaAllah. That's it, Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzata wa Yasifoon wa Salaamun al Mursaleen Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Illa Sharif al Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa Rasulullah Kiram Walla Mushaykheena fi Tariqat al Ashbandiyyat al Aliyya wa Sayyiru Sadatina wa Siddiqeen al Fatiha. Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.